Hey guys, I'm back for a third bonus video. Um, I'm going to break from the IPA series for a minute to do something really unique and really special um, from a brand new uh, brewery uh, from La Crosse, Wisconsin, which is my home state. It's a uh, it's a fairly small town, I don't know, somewhere around 65 to 70,000 people. It's about four and a half hours north of me, uh, right on the Mississippi River. Uh, basically, if you cross the river from La Crosse, you would be in Minnesota to give you guys some kind of perspective. Um, uh, but this is a beer that is... Uh, taken that well I knew it had taken the state by storm I mean this is one of the biggest if not biggest selling uh, new craft beers um, in this state and uh, from what I heard from a good YouTube uh, buddy of mine um, um, Casey Jones most of you guys will know him or Chris uh, told me that it's selling like mad on the uh, East Coast now as well, so much so um, that uh, the Boston Beer Company, who make the great Samuel Adams products, uh, has now released their own um, root beer flavored ale called Coney Island Root Beer, I believe is what it's called. I could be mistaken. I need to track that down. To try it, but yes, guys, what I'm talking about is an ale. It is a root beer flavored ale. And this is not your father's root beer uh, from a brand new brewery in Wisconsin and lacrosse called Small Town Brewing. Uh, and this is kind of unlike anything I've ever had, guys. Uh, this basically is an ale that is brewed with uh, vanilla and various spices. And frankly, guys, it tastes exactly like root beer. So if you like root beer, you're going to go crazy for this stuff. We can't keep it on the shelves here, and I guess it's selling out nationally. It's, it's out of hand. It's such a big seller that right now this is the only beer that uh, Small Town Brewing even makes right now. So uh, like I said, it's called Not Your Father's Root Beer. And it is an ale with uh, vanilla and various spices. Although the one caveat, guys, this to be a little careful of, this is 5.9% ABV. So this is kind of on the edge of what I consider sessionable. Um, so anyway, guys, we're going to give this a crack. And just a plain black bottle cap, nothing special there, guys. We'll give this a pour. And very, very carbonated, guys. It's, it's very brown in color. It looks like root beer. And as you can see, you know, the head dissipated almost instantly, guys. So we're going to give this a smell. Yeah, and it's unmistakable. I mean, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with, like, uh, A&W or Barks root beer. But that's exactly what this smells like. I mean... If someone handed you this without tasting it first, you'd think it was a glass of root beer. You know, it smells completely inviting and delicious. So I'm going to dig into this, guys. Cheers. Yeah. You know, um... That's just what it tastes like. It tastes just like some delicious, like, craft-type root beer. It's it's just, uh, if you like root beer, this is absolutely top-notch. I love root beer, so for me, 
This is great. The only caveat I have, guys, again, 5.9. It'll catch up to you. Um, so anyway, for me, guys, this is just fantastic. This is one of the more exciting. I'm not really into sweet stuff too much, but when it's done this spot on, I got to give it a big score, guys. I mean, this is just selling all over the country. I don't know if it's selling overseas yet. I don't think so. Um, but again, this is Small Town Brewing from La Crosse, Wisconsin. This is their Not Your Father's Root Beer. Um, root beer, it's spiced ale, essentially, but it tastes just like root beer. Uh, and it's just fantastic, guys. So if you can get this, even if you don't like beer, if you're a fan of root beer, uh, this is the perfect uh, beverage for someone who maybe doesn't like the taste of traditional beer. Uh, but this is fantastic, guys. I'll dig into this one more time. Yeah, it's terrific. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and score this an 8.5 out of 10. So that's an 8.5 out of 10 for Small Town Brewing, not your father's root beer. Uh, thanks so much again for watching, guys, and I will talk with you later.